Hey, what's good, folks? Y'all know what time it is. Your man, Jay Ross. Another dope section of Weekly Views. As usual, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. First things first, Dr. Umar, please, 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 please. And there's a time and a place when you should talk and when you shouldn't talk. And we would not tolerate any Eminem slander at all. First of all, we got to stop with, because Eminem is white, he can't be the GOAT or the greatest rapper of all time. F that. I was I don't want to get in trouble for, for cursing, but look, it's not his fault he's white and he can rap. God dang, like, this man could spit. If it wasn't for Eminem, we wouldn't have no 50. We wouldn't have no G unit. We wouldn't have we wouldn't have none of that. So to say that, to say cause he's white and this is a, a black culture. We got to stop having that. We got to really, really stop with the conversation. Because my man Tiger Woods is black and he dominating the white sport with golf. Like, where is that argument? So, so Umar, just, just shut your mouth, please, please, please. Go go build that school that we've been waiting for. All right? We ain't seen that school yet. Okay. Now, moving on forward. My man Suge Knight has been in a lot of, saying a lot of controversial, controversial stuff lately on his podcast, Collect Call. He says Snoop Dogg hatred for Tupac is the, the was the reason why Death Row Records fall apart. I would have to disagree from an outside looking in. I would have to say Death Row ended because Tupac died. Dr. Dre left. Not only that, if you go back, a lot of Death Row's problems didn't really really start until Tupac came along. So. We, I don't. I don't think Snoop. Maybe Snoop did have some type of hatred for Pac. I was there. I can't speak on what I don't know. But what I seen, all those issues started when Hit 'Em Up came out, and who was putting the who was putting the battery in Pac's back? Suge. Okay, so I Suge. I Suge. You know. I hope you're you doing well in there and stuff. I know you got a lot of stuff to say, but I cannot agree with that one, Suge. At all. all right. Now this man, his name speaks for itself whack 100 um i have a question for you and this has been on my mind for some time now at what age do we stop becoming fascinated with the beefs at what age do we like i'm just curious like i know you're from the streets and you got, you got a reputation in the past but why do you feel like every time you have to go on clubhouse you have to call dudes out. You want to fight. No, you get too much money. You're the millionaire. And you still worrying about who's doing what in the streets. Not only that, you with your boy, Adam22, the coach of Orchard over there, your, your, the pup, your slave master over there, putting a the battery in your back. Look, I think you just need to go back to managing Ratatouille 6 9 over there in the game and <laughs> get on with your day. Stop worrying about it. You're not gonna you're not you're not gonna meet up with any of these dudes that you're talking about, okay? All right, because if you were, you would have been done it. So just go ahead and shh. All right, now moving on forward. Cardi B offset relationship divorce is is trending right now. Uh, my opinion, Cardi, I think you know we come from the old school saying what happens in this house stays in this house. So I think. Certain relationship stuff should be left off of social media. I don't think the the world should know, you know, what's been going on in your house. Now, Offset, if you out there messing up, sir, you fumbling the bag, dog. Like, if you are cheating, if you did, I don't know if you cheated. I can't say you cheated, but if you cheated, you fumbling the bag. She's the breadwinner, bro. Like, why would you do that? But, Cardi, I'm not buying the whole crying on the internet. I, I ain't buying all that. All right. Just keep that off the internet. Moving forward, Jonathan Majors found guilty two counts reckless assault. I know a lot of people are like, oh, this is messed up, and how is this happening? Look, we've seen this too many times. When a brother is in a situation and he's dealing with a snow bunny and something, something happens, he gets in trouble. Rest in peace. We saw what happened to the black mama with that, that situation with those false allegations. Every time where there's a snow bunny and there's a there's a brother of African-American complexion, 
They're going to cancel him. And that's what this is. We seen the video. We seen that, that man was running for us, for us, run, for us, run. And they, they, and, and, and they want to find him guilty. We, we should stop being acting surprised with the system. We already know how they do our people, man. But Jonathan Majors, man, keep your head up there, brother. You know what I'm saying? Stay away from them snow bunnies. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to get canceled. <laughs> Soldier Boy and Blue Face, man, look. Y'all niggas here, man. I don't know where to start. Um, I just have a question for y'all, right? Y'all have y'all have all this money. Y'all have access to private gyms. Y'all not finna really fight each other. I don't think y'all finna fight each other. Because if y'all really gonna fight each other, y'all would have done it. Y'all gonna keep arguing on Instagram Live for the entertainment because that's what that's what's getting the people talking. But I don't think y'all really gonna fight. Like, so I just don't understand how y'all have all this money and then y'all want to sit there go back and forth on instagram live every day i just don't get it man like i feel like y'all two can get on the phone and call floyd mayweather go to vegas and hey floyd let us get in the let us get in the rink and, and, and let's fight have a private match you know what i'm saying and whoever win win but blue face that is corny if you're going over there bragging and, and saying he's smashing this baby mama man look we don't pillow talk, all right, man? Look, shut that. All right. Let's talk about the biggest, the biggest controversial figure in the African-American culture right now. My man from Fort Worth, Charleston White, man, look. I want to know y'all's opinions. Do y'all feel, and, and y'all can drop them in the comments, do y'all feel like Charleston White is, is he, is he really bad for the culture or is he something that the culture needs? Um, I don't know if y'all seen his, his Cam Newton interview but, you know, it's, it's been trending. He said a lot of good stuff. Recently, some allegations, false allegations came out about animal cruelty, which did not come to. I figured I feel I feel like he's being targeted right now because he has a voice and he gets the people's talking and the people don't like what he had to say. But he's speaking the truth. So I feel like they're going to try to do everything in their power to try to cancel this man. But I also feel like like the situation that happened at his show. He should have been he should have been protected a little bit more better. You know what I'm saying? Let us know in the comments what y'all think of Charleston White. Now, Jenny May, I got a bone to pick with you. Jenny May is coming out, you know, her and Jeezy split up, and she's coming out saying that she feels it's unsafe for her child to be around Jeezy. I'm gonna call him Mr. Jenkins because he on this on this grown man stuff. Because of all the guns in the house. Look, you heard this man's music. You already know what, what he rapped about. You don't think he's not going to have no type of guns in the house to protect? A woman should want a man to protect their house at all costs. I feel like it's, I feel it's deeper than that. I feel like, look, if you don't like that he's trying to protect you, don't be what's, what a street dude. Plain and simple. Go get you a little blue collar dude button up, you know, nice little man, you know. They go play golf every week or something like that. But they try to keep the child away because you feel like it's an unsafe environment. Y'all have to like you have to like y'all in a trap house. Y'all stay in a good old mansion somewhere away from all the ruckus. Look, I'm not buying that. And that's ridiculous, Jenny May. Well look, it's your man Jay Ross, the weekly views. I am out of here. <laughs>